four colors? Yeah. All right, so now what I want you to do is look through my sensory bin and you have to find all of the white pictures. There's 12. Ow. Okay. Ow. I flew out. Ow. Right here. And you know what? I think it might be better to tape this on there because the glue is not really sticking. Yeah. So we'll do red and you want to do blue at the end? Yeah. This one makes our buzzing sound. This one does not. You remember this one? Yeah. What is it called? <laughs> yeah, so this one just the air is going through, but we don't feel that buzz in our throat. Where does your tongue go? It should go in between your teeth. Okay, so put your tongue in between your teeth. Just a little bit. You don't want to stick it out too much. Make sure that air goes through. Okay, now we're going to work on them with our sounds. Uh-huh, a teapot and a... What do you do with it? How is an iron and a teapot similar? They both have steam. Excellent. And what is and what is different between them? Okay, what's the difference between a shovel and a broom? What do you call the edge of a broomstick? That part. I know exactly what you're thinking about. A pillow. A pillow? That's called the bristle. Oh, the bristle? Mm -hmm. Yeah, shovel doesn't even have bristles, right? The bristles is this end part of the broom. Part. So they both have. What's the part that you hold? What's that called? Like a stick. A handle, good, they both have handles. So broom you use for sweeping, a shovel you use for digging. Yes. Awesome, nice difference, exactly. Broom we usually use when we're just inside, right, to clean our house. And like you said, shovel we use outside to dig. Or when else would we use a shovel? For sand? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of another one. Dirt or snow. We use it for the snow. Okay, give me a full sentence. Nice long sentence. He. Are we ready for our next one? Not yet. Give me a sentence. Is it they, she, or he? <laughs> building. He is. He is building. Nice sentence. Here's our next one. Give me your sentence. She is. What is she doing? She is cheering. Your turn. Give me your sentence. Oh, she is cheering. Nice work. You're right. There's two people. So we say they keep going. but I didn't hear it in is. Can we say that again? Oh. Good. Let's try it one more time, the whole sentence. Oh. 
find one? No, oh, you found a bead, but you have to find a picture. That's not going to stay on there. I see them. Pick a picture. Got two. Let's do both. What is the opposite of stop? So stop sign is red. When a sign is green, that means go. Stop and go are opposites. Good job, put it on the paper. Thank you.